Well, a great morning to you. This is your boy Dragon coming to you with another 10 minute Rise Up with Dragon. As a reminder, the goal of this podcast is to remove the blindfolds of your mind so that you can tap into and access higher levels of consciousness and tap into your true great potential. How do we do this? We do this with our podcast which you're listening to right now, my weekly blog called The Dragon's Lair, One from the Vault, and our up long, upcoming online courses and books. Welcome, my friends, to another Rise Up with a Dragon. Great morning, world. Welcome to the Rise Up with Dragon podcast. With your host, Dragon! What's up, folks? Today's Rise Up is called No One, and I'm pretty stoked about it. Um, I just came back from Dallas and I did a, a you know, a, a pub, public gig, and, you know, speaking, it was a pretty big crowd, and I had the opportunity to, to uh, share my, my DJ skills, so if anybody heard those, please feel free to comment. I was pretty stoked about that. Um, but anyway, a lot of people were asking me that listen to the show, um, who, why I have a picker, picture of a chicken on my wall. So just to make sure everybody knows that's my wife. I'm not married to an actual chicken. It's just her nickname. So I put it up there because I love my wife. And that brings me to, to the reminder that the Rise Up With Dragon show is sponsored by none other than Karma Mind, which is my wife's beautiful meditation podcast. <laughs> Get into the float state with Calm Mind Meditations and Gear. So just quickly, um, before we get into no one, because it's a short one, a shorty but a goody, um, just reminding myself why I'm doing these 10 minute rise ups. You know, I, I, I wrote um, a chapter for a book recently and I, I kind of recapped my story about how I started all this stuff. And um, I'm not going to get into that whole story, but you know, I, the rise up with dragon podcast evolved just as me um, facing my fears of, of anxiety and public speaking, believe it or not. And I find myself on stages now in front of thousands of people. Um, but also, you know, the, the show evolved because you guys started listening to it and I started finding out, you know, a little bit more about how to communicate and deliver my message. So the reason why the new format is only 10 minutes, and I realize now that I only have like eight minutes left, um, is because of this unpredictability of life and, and how much time we unpredictably have. Um, and I always like to ponder how I will live my life and what I will think, say, and do in the last 10 minutes, like what will actually matter because I live as a minimalist. And I'm, and what I mean by that is I minimize the amount of things that I have and let into my world because all I really care about is what I care about. Um, so I love to practice that idea. So therefore I only spend 10 minutes with you because I don't want you to spend more than 10 minutes. You got to get out there and live your life. So today is called no one. And I read this the other day, um, and this just blew my mind. So it said, it was just referring to the fact that we often say, you know, something is impossible or nobody can do that. And it said, no one can get past the gateless gate. Now you should go listen to my podcast called The Gateless Gate, but that's a Buddhist thing. You know, it's like a wall in front of you that doesn't exist. So no one can get past the gateless gate. So the solution is to be no one. Have you ever thought about that? You know, think about the indefiniteness of saying nobody or no one or even impossible. What you're basically doing is building a gateless gate. So the idea would be if no one can do something, well, then if you want to do that, you'd have to become no one. So this blew my mind and it just brings back, you know, just brings tons of value to the idea of being no one. You know, sometimes I like to live in the space between being someone and being nobody. You know, I, I was thinking today about the uh, the caterpillar, and I, I'm, got, that's going to be a, a pretty cool post in the next blog. Um, a caterpillar, when it's in the cocoon, is actually not a caterpillar, and it's not a butterfly. It's in the space between. So I just love the idea of setting a goal today to be no one, because then I can do everything that no one can do. 
So that's where my mind is at. So here's the meaning behind it. If someone or if something is considered out of reach or, as we say, impossible for anyone to accomplish, um, and that happens only in mind and, and opinion, well, then the solution is to separate yourself from being just somebody or anybody and become the one become that one. You know, I love the idea of living an abnormal life. You know why? Because success is abnormal. Happiness and fulfillment is abnormal. And that's why so few people have it because we all conform. So I've heard people even make that reference. And I know you've done this before um, to the reworded version of the word impossible. We say that's impossible. But then somebody says, I am possible, right? It's in the same playground as that. So what if you were impossible? And what if you were no one? Meaning, you know, the one that does what most people consider to be impossible. It's just a shift in your mind. And that's what the Rise Up With Dragon show is all about. Just shifting your mind to get past the gateless gate. You know how you get past the gateless gate is you realize that it's not there, right? Somebody else put it there and you believed in it. So the gateless gate being the learned helplessness that you've inherited from your mother, father, teacher, preacher, and society. You've been conditioned with all of the, the consistent uh, consumption that you make to create these barriers that control your life. So it's gateless because it's a barrier that only separates you from your goals in your programmed mind, meaning it's not your mind, it's whatever somebody else has done, you know? So that's why I always say, Forget about the mind, go to the heart. The heart doesn't even need words because it knows. So the moment you believe that um, there is a barrier between you and what it is that you desire, you begin this game, and here's the game, you start to contemplate and determine whether that barrier is or isn't something that you can or can't pass or overcome. So when you say something is impossible or no one can do it, that's just a perception that your program mind has created. Because the truth is, is that a lot of people like me think that we're living in a simulation. And if that's true, that this is just a game. And all you need is some sort of magic elixir and you can get past, past anything. And if that sounds crazy to you, well, you know what? Then call me crazy and I'm having a lot of fun and it's working. <laughs> so have fun with it today like a child playing a video game that knows Children know this in their video games. They know the value that sits on the other side. And you hear me all the time say, isn't it mysterious how God and the universe has put everything that we desire on the other side of poop, the obstacle. So kids get excited when the obstacle is it comes because they know that there's a reward on the other side. So they actually rise up and get excited when the impossible task comes, the monster that nobody can beat, right? They just keep going at it. And all of a sudden, somebody can Roger Bannister, that monster. So thus causing you to justify a retreat back to comfort. That's what we do. when. And sometimes I wonder if we're saying something is impossible or nobody can do it just so we can grab a hall pass to retreat back to comfort. You know. So my question is this. Who is this no one that everybody's talking about? You know what it is? It's me. I'm no one. And I think you should practice becoming no one too. Everybody says no one can do things. Well, then just be no one. This person that can overcome the things that everybody says they can't. Is there a no one version of you, right? Maybe it's that, that caterpillar in the cocoon. Maybe, maybe you're in the, in the process of a transformation and a metamorphosis and you're in between being who you were and who you are. And it's a little confusing sometimes. And sometimes we retreat from it because of our belief systems. But I think it's a great place to be. No man's land, right? Neither here nor there. And by the way, remember, I'm teaching this interface response system and it's all about how you respond to things. So it's a great to, it's great to learn how to be in the space between. So is it a superhero version of you that can leap buildings, fly and, you know, and have super strength? Or is no one just someone that sees the gateless gate nature of the obstacles, meaning maybe they're not even there. Maybe they've just been self-created. So in closing, and, and by the way, that would be somebody that embraces the idea that barriers are, you know, are merely learned perceptions, right? Maybe, maybe we start looking at barriers differently. So be no one today and roam around your personal fantastic, because it's a fantasy that you've created, your personal fantastic metaverse that's full of endless possibilities and potential. That is my rise up today and I love and appreciate you. And uh, I will be traveling to Europe for three weeks. 
So I may or may not come to you from Berlin or France with my next Rise Up, but I love and appreciate you. Give me your feedback, rate and review us. Check out our new podcast, NFTs Made Simple. Um, just purchased a V Friends NFT and me and my buddy Mark uh, Savant are, are having a ball and teaching a lot of people how to engage in cryptocurrency and NFTs. Love and appreciate you. Have an amazing day. Mm-hmm.